HoneyPincher.com and it is day four of our Be Awesome in April challenge and I don't want to be awesome today. I have no desire to do this list. I was sitting here this morning and I was kind of gripey about it and I thought here I've created the list. I've told people we can do this. I've told people to be excited. I don't want to. This is like my least favorite thing I believe on the list but I'm here and today we are cleaning out our freezers. I don't want to clean out my freezer. I don't want to look at the mess in there. I will tell you why as a penny pincher this one is like I don't want to. I have no desire to be here today. I don't want to be. I'm sitting on the floor of my kitchen. It is 9 o'clock in the morning. Why am I here? I don't want to be here. But you know what? I was thinking about it. I thought okay well I could skip this one on live. These people don't have to watch this. This is really kind of silly. This isn't a big deal and then I thought odds are if I'm sitting here not wanting to do this then there's probably somewhere on the someone on the other side of the screen who feels the same way as I do. So I got my list and I went through it and I checked off my stuff and we're going to survive. Good morning Diane. So glad to see you guys. As you're hopping on if you can tell me this morning tell me where you're from. Um, give me let me know what the weather is and if you've downloaded your checklist can you give me a check mark if you have downloaded your list. Um, we will give you the link to get that. You need this freebie awesome in April. We need to do this. Even when we don't want to we need to do this. So today we're going to do it. Even if we don't want to do it we're going to do it. So I checked off my list. So I exercised this morning. Thank goodness. Um, I had my quiet time, which you would think would make me happier, but it didn't. Um, I did my shower. I made my bed so I could check that off. I'm going to go ahead and go through here. I did wipe down my sinks. I did start the laundry. I haven't planned dinner, but y'all are going to help me with that. Somebody has their list. Awesome. So glad you have your list. Good job. Um, okay, I'm going to start and plan dinner right now. I need to run the dishwasher, but I'm waiting until this is done. I still need to do my countertops. Okay, so if you haven't downloaded your list, grab that list. Now, if you're watching on enough, iPhone or something that you can walk away and you're not stuck like you can move around while you're watching the video. I want you to give me a heart if you're doing that. And here's why. Because nobody wants to sit over there and watch me clean out my freezer. Like this is the most awful job ever. Who would want to watch this? But if you go over to your freezer maybe you'll get yours done and I'll get mine done and maybe we won't feel so grouchy later on in the day. Yeah. Um, anyways, I definitely, I, I just need to do my list. So anyways, um, before I forget to tell you, there is a great deal. The cleaning products that I've been using this week are Mrs. Myers from The Grove. Um, there is a freebie offer if you click over to the link. You can get four free items. I'll talk more about that at the end. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to clean up this mess because I need to get it done. And I'm going to tell you why I hate this job so much. This is why I hate cleaning out the freezer and only penny pinchers will appreciate this. I am a pen, as a penny pincher feel like I need to save things because um, I feel like it's wasteful not to keep stuff. So I keep stuff because I feel like I have to. Then I realize later on that um, nobody in my family is going to eat the leftovers. So does anybody else have this? Yeah. Does anybody else struggle with that as a frugal person? My family doesn't love leftovers which drives me nuts because I feel like we should eat everything until it's gone. So I'll kind of like hide and put things in the freezer. And I don't. So what I want y'all to help me with, some people understand that, give me hearts and likes if you get that. Like you feel guilty, so that's why I don't want to do this job is I feel guilty throwing it away, but if it's sat here for so long, then what's the point? So what I'd love your help with today are two things. Number one, tell me what I should make for dinner with this mess of what I have in my freezer because we need to get that. And then number two, tell me, I'm going to let y'all help me decide whether or not to give things up. So I'm not alone. This is why I struggle with this job. Like the fridge doesn't bother me so much. But the freezer, it just hurts me. So we're going to go through what we have here. I'm just going to start. Y'all are going to laugh at me. And tell me if you have the same thing. And especially frugal people are going to appreciate this. This is ham from last Easter. Last Easter is ham. Do you understand? This is the same ham. It's been, ham is coming again in a week. So guys, what's your opinion on this? Um, tell me to pitch it or keep it. It's a lot of ham. It's what would y'all do? Pitch or keep it? I'm thinking I'm going to pitch it because I know it's coming next week and I know it's not going to get eaten. I just know it's not going to get eaten. It makes me sad. I'm pitching it. Yeah, tell me what y'all think. Trash? Good. So I got one. Thank you, Jessica. Okay, y'all are going to be good for me. Okay, we have beef burgers, so that's exciting. I didn't know I had those, so I'm keeping those for sure because we would do that. You would keep one bag and pitch the rest. Toss it. Okay, yeah. Tell me what you think, guys. Um, more ham. Yeah, I, I'm getting rid of the ham um, because it hasn't been eaten in a year. This looks to be pork 
like barbecue that the bag's been open. I'm gonna toss it. What do y'all think? Toss, trash it, toss it. I can't remember when we made this and I should have put the label on it and I didn't and I know better. Throw it out. Okay, so I'm throwing it out. It's gonna feel so much better. Tell me that I'm gonna be glad I did this. Okay, so we have a bag of stir fry veggies. I'm gonna keep those and y'all come tell me what I'm gonna make with what's here. Keep use in chat, let's see. Use in chili or 15 bean soup. Now that's a good idea. That's a good idea, but I don't think we'll make it before next week. Okay, Jill, I'm gonna keep that in mind, and if I find another one of ham, I will tell you. Okay, we have some chicken breast, so I'm gonna keep that for sure, because we eat that like crazy at our house. We have some topping, whipped topping, we're gonna keep that. Ham and beans, oh, you think I should make ham and beans? I'll check the dates on the stuff. I know, the like that stuff, I know that those were bought pretty recently. I have this, which if you guys don't buy this stuff, this is the best. This makes the best cinnamon rolls. It makes super easy biscuits. I'm gonna keep that for sure. So y'all are saying toss the ham, I think. Um, this is just plastic wrap, like why? I have some berries. I'm gonna keep those, because I, let's see, the date is, oh no I'm not, December 23rd. We're gonna put those, really? Yeah, December 23rd, I thought I just bought those. I guess not. One lone Gogurt. How many of you guys, have, how many of your stuff looks like this? So stir fry, balsamic chicken and vegetables. Oh, I'm loving your ideas. If you're in doubt, you throw it out. I am, uh, this is awful. Okay, so this is, Mex this is chicken tortilla soup. I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna eat it for lunch today because I know what that is and I'll have that. There's my lunch, yay, I found lunch. So tell me what you find in your freezer. So Kristen, you asked if you have to set out the dough. Okay, so to make these homemade cinnamon rolls, um, Hannah, the recipe is on Passionate Penny Pinscher. You do let the bread thaw out um, on the stove top overnight. Then you roll it out flat, add butter, cinnamon sugar, and that's about it. Roll it up, make the things. They're fantastic. So yeah, and it's the cheapest way. Like you will get five of these loaves for about, oh, maybe $4. And so you're gonna get like a whole dozen cinnamon rolls for under a buck. Great price on those. Okay, so this is taco meat. There's taco meat. So I guess I could have tacos. Yeah, that could be good. Taco nachos maybe? Chicken nachos? I might do those. That's a thought. Okay, so toss. Okay, this is easy. I'm probably going to keep these. And y'all are going to see my big prices right here coming up. I love frozen chicken breast. This is a splurge to make my life easy. Good morning. You're a day behind. Oh, I'm so glad. You, you know, I feel so good that now that my fridge is cleaned out that you would think I would be excited about this. Here's some cut corn, but it's been opened. I don't know about this one. I'm gonna find a bag. I should have put it in a bag in. Anyways, it does feel so good, guys, when you do this stuff, but it is so hard to be motivated. Like, who wants, I have no desire to be sitting here doing this, and I hate throwing away food, so it's just awful. This is a beef top round of roast. This was just bought February 8th. I don't remember why I bought this, so if you have any suggestions on what to do with a beef, beef top round roast, tell me what to do with that, and I'll make something with it. Um, Oh, are you having problems getting on Grove, Kathy? Kathy, the link should work. If not, send me an email and I'll try to go through your comments because I definitely want you to be able to get your free stuff. Guys, don't forget, you can get your free cleaning supplies. Click the link above and it'll make you more inspired. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I have never taken this thing out, but it's nasty. So I'm going to take it out at some point today. Okay, so we have orange sherbet here that I believe is fine. I think that's fairly new, so I'm going to keep that. You couldn't get on Grove either. Oh, let me know. Huh, is the link not working just this morning? Hannah, put the link up in there and hopefully it'll work for everybody. I'm hoping it works. Mississippi roast. Charlene, can you use a Mississippi roast with, can you use a beef top round steak for, with Mississippi roast? Yeah, somebody says their problem is, hang on, I wanna see your comment. You said, you think someone will eat it and then they don't eat it. Okay, um, yeah, I'm in the same boat. So this is some ravioli, some cheese ravioli. I saw some other ravioli when I was glancing in here. Here's chicken meat already cut up, so I got more chicken meat. I'm gonna keep that because we go through a lot of chicken meat. Chicken breast tenders, y'all tell me what I'm gonna do with that. Now we're getting into the yucky stuff down here. Salmon, which I just bought, so that's fine. So we got salmon. You can see I could eat for, at least we could eat for a week. Fajitas, great idea. Yeah, but Tracy, you're right. The stuff is free after you spend twenty dollars at Grove for sure. Okay, so we have this is this is this is bad. Um, I have a little bit of turkey bacon. I, my family doesn't like turkey bacon, but I feel really bad throwing it out. So pitch or keep this one. What would you do with the turkey bacon? Let me know on that one. Oh y'all, this was one of those. This is like a penny pincher. Only other fellow penny pinchers are gonna get this. Oh, I'm so this is awful. So the Dollar Tree. <laughs> 
had this cheese on sale. It was free after and I bought a rebate. I bought it. Then I realized it was totally like really like it was really bad past like just processed, but I just couldn't throw it out. But I think I'm picking it out. I, I can't because I don't think I could even yeah, I can't. Um oh y'all. Yeah. More cheese ravioli. So I'm gonna put that with the other cheese ravioli. Put those together. Some cauliflower. I guess we need to make some cauliflower. Egg rolls with the cut up chicken. How do you make egg rolls? Yeah, I'm not going to buy any more chicken. <laughs> no more chicken. We do eat a lot of chicken. Like, we eat chicken probably three, four nights a week. We have some Jimmy Dean. My daughter begged for these Jimmy Dean sausage biscuits, but I don't think anyone is eating them. But I'm going to... We just bought those, like, a few days ago. Um, and this is the funniest... Well... Oh, y'all. This is bad. This is... This is bad. So, last year, we had a party with our, um, my husband's office and we bought Costco barbecue because it was right after my husband had his heart attack and we were trying to be super easy and we just did like veggies and fruit and that was it. So, um, yeah, this is from a year ago. I'm thinking pitch it. What do y'all think? Pitch or keep? I'm going to pitch it. I'm going to pitch it, right? Pitch it. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. We're pitching that turkey bacon cooked with jarred Alfredo sauce and peas with spaghetti. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. I may stick to that. I'm throwing away the stuff that I know was a year ago. Okay, this was another bargain deal. I, I, yeah, 50 cents for these hot dogs. We may keep those. If nothing else, I can use them. My dog would love them for a treat. Turkey bacon in the oven, crisp right up, and use it on a club chicken pasta. Guys, I have so many, much food here now. I feel like I need to be making dinner. Who else? Give me some feedback. Are, am I alone here? Like, does anybody else do this? <laughs> am I the only one? Y'all say pitch the other stuff. Okay, this is Italian beef from February of 2017. So I know what that is. We just need to eat it. My problem is I cook it and then I think we'll come and reuse it. Like my family, I think would eat this, but I just put it in there and think no one will eat it. Um, chicken for tacos or nachos, but I don't know how old that is. I'm gonna pitch that, I think, because I don't know the date. And this is my word to the wise. Um, yeah, you need to date this stuff because obviously I should have dated that. Oh, somebody says they're a college student. Thank you for making me feel better. Y'all do this every, I don't, I like this is my least favorite job anywhere. Brussels sprouts, anyone? Let's see the dates on that because I don't even remember buying it. Oh, it expired in 2016. I hate this job. Okay, this is where y'all are just gonna, I'm not even gonna show you yet. I'm just not gonna show you. Some bologna, we haven't eaten bologna in years. Oh, y'all, yeah, this bologna's going. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm here to make you all feel really, really good about yourself. If you're struggling, with um, feeling like your life is not in order. This bologna, we don't even eat bologna. We haven't eaten bologna in years. Like, obviously we haven't eaten bologna in years. It's from, I'm embarrassed. Y'all please, this is awful, 2014. 2014. Yeah, we're throwing that away. That's gross. <laughs> yeah. Taco meat for quesadillas, but I didn't put a date on it, so I'm throwing it out. I don't know why I didn't date it. Y'all, date your stuff. This is your lesson to the, I'm not the only one. Kathy, I'm glad I'm cracking you up. I'm kind of embarrassed over here, because I didn't know how bad <laughs> gonna be until I got into it okay we have some more veggies I'm gonna throw those out because I don't remember I don't think I've seen the bottom of this freezer in a long time oh good 2018 I have fresh broccoli so obviously we're having salmon or chicken and broccoli tonight make a list of everything you have they'll eat when you're in a pinch for time I need to do that because that's what I think I do is I my family is the biggest struggle and I don't think I'm alone in this is that while I feel like we need to eat every single thing up my family does not love the leftovers. Your mom's is somebody, uh, yeah, three to six month freezer rule. I need to do that, Jessica. I'm glad to hear some of you guys say, though, that I'm not the only one doing this. Okay, these are Grand's biscuits. I will say these are the best, easiest biscuits. They're not as good as Margaret Ann's homemade biscuits, but if you need quick biscuits, those are fantastic. And this is another thing that I'm going to just show my penny pincher self here is that when you look at these um, things and they that I don't put things in bags like I'll just close this off because I am so frugal I don't want to waste a plastic bag so yeah I'm not alone thank y'all because I feel really really bad that I'm like this but this is when it gets really bad this is the part that I'm just y'all okay this is how I keep my bananas when I want to use them for baking right which would be totally fine if I had this many except that every single time we have bananas I keep doing that so look at all these bananas, oh, y'all. I mean, this is like, this is ridiculous. I obviously need to do this every three to six months. Ooh, chicken and dumplings would be good. Samantha, I wonder, can you make chicken and dumplings with the frozen ones? Yeah, we need to clean, I, 
if I'm sitting here doing this, whoever just said I can't see your name, if I'm sitting here on Facebook Live cleaning out my fridge, there is no reason. You guys have to do this with me. We, misery loves company, right? Um, I just, some of these bananas are so bad. There's more bananas. The bananas go on forever. I, and if you, they really do work. Um, I'm throwing the bologna out. Um, the bananas thing does work, but you don't need to keep all of them. So if you see me putting bananas in my freezer, y'all, there's more bananas. I'm gonna fill up this whole thing with just bananas. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this is awful. I'm throwing some of these out. I mean, look how bad they are. What they do though, if you're interested in freezing bananas, because it really does work well, is you just let them freeze, um, defrost on the counter. They will fall right out, then you bake them. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, it's great. So, oh, that's a good idea to bake something with bananas and give them to someone. That's a great idea. What's hard too is we're eating, we don't eat, we eat a lot of salad and fresh stuff. And so this I, looks like great ideas, but then when I do it, oh, and if you can leave, see the mess. Here's a little bit of ice, like, I'm going to just throw that out because we don't need that. Um, yeah, so we've got that. Then we have some peas. Obviously, I have plenty of vegetables here. Yes, you know what? I need to make. I need Ziplocs. Michelle, you're right. I am so frugal. I have Ziplocs, but I don't keep them, and I'm really cheap about using them, so I'm going to have to get over that. Um, this pork is from Fresh Time, and it was bought a year ago. I'm going to throw that out. Yeah, y'all think, throw it out. I'm throwing out. Guys, this is bad. So do not do this. You do not want to be me sitting here on the bottom of your kitchen floor seeing how bad your mess is. It's just bad. Now I will tell you I have another little trick here. I just I can't get up the bananas. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna take these out afterwards and I'll make banana bread. You can wash and reuse Ziploc plastic bags. I'm always afraid about reusing them about stuff mixing over. Okay, here's another fun tip for any painters out there. <laughs> Y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but if you have oil paint and sometimes even regular paint, if you freeze it like this, it will save your paintbrush for the next time you freeze. However, I can't remember when we painted with this, so I'm going to put that away. I think my husband did that project that little bit. Okay, we have some strawberries and berries, so we're going to make a fruit smoothie. <gasps> I'm going to make my kids a fruit smoothie after school today. Look, I'm going to be an awesome mom. I even have, I think I have some yogurt. Tell me what you put in your fruit strawberry these. I actually just froze these, so I have strawberries and blueberries and bananas. So I'll do that, and then I'll be a good mom. Um, you do that with paintbrushes too. I'm so glad I'm not the only one. It's not the Ziploc bags. Get one of the freezer things, frozen bananas. Yes, okay, I'm gonna do some <laughs> more bananas. Uh, the bananas are everywhere, everywhere. You label the Ziplocs and then use the same product. Oh, that you wash them in. That's a good idea. That's definitely a good idea. Y'all love the food saver. Does it take up a whole lot of space? I don't know. Sneak some veggies in the smoothie. Can you put veggies in the smoothie? Then we have crinkle cut french fries. Y'all, we, what happens, I think, is we don't, we think we're going to eat this. Yeah, this is going away. August of 2016. That's out of here. Um, ooh, more berries. Let's check the date on those. Um, January of 2017. This says January 2017. Do y'all think that's okay? I'm kind of on the fence about that one. You use clothespins to close the bags. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, you use a food saver and just reseal the bags. Veggies in the, you put veggies in the smoothies. Okay, Tina, how you freeze the bananas? Literally, this is why I have so many in my freezer. All you do is take your banana when it's getting brown, throw it in the freezer. Then when you're done, you just unpeel it. You let it sit out on the counter, unpeel it. It oozes out. It's kind of disgusting. But it makes the best banana bread because it's so moist um, because it's been, it's out there forever. So yeah, still okay on the fruit, y'all think? It's a best by date. It's not a use by date. So y'all think the berries are okay? So if I make a smoothie with them today, the bananas are ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna make banana bread. Y'all have inspired me. I don't know where, who's gonna eat all this banana bread, but somebody's gonna eat a bunch of banana bread because this is ridiculous. I mean, that's just nuts. Okay, so the next thing, I'm getting to the bottom. Oh, I have a whole package of turkey bacon, and the date on this one is, oh, we're fine on this one. This date's good. Okay, so now that you've seen, you had to find a spot for your, for your food saver. That's the problem. I don't know about this thing. I have a lone biscuit that fell out. I'm gonna invest. So my two things I guess to buy today are gonna be more plastic bags, um, for sure. Your daughter loves kale smoothies. Oh, that's good to know. You cut up your berries and freeze on a cookie sheet. I've done that where you cut them up and freeze on a sh um, cookie sheet, and I do that with my strawberries and blueberries, but with bananas, I'm so lazy that you can do it even easier with that. 
Um, I could freeze the banana bread. Can you imagine we have banana bread? You know what I could do is we're having company next week. I could bake the banana bread now and then I would have it for next week, which would be really nice to have them. That's a good idea. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, we're almost down to the bottom. One more paintbrush. I'm going to pitch that one. And one more thing here. One more banana. I'm going to show you. I don't know how. I have no idea how to get this out. So I don't know how I'm going to clean this. I'm going to have to look at that. Anyways, I wish y'all could see how bad it is. Um, so here's the thing, guys. I do not want, like, I had no desire to do this. I know that you are sitting there on the other side of the screen saying, Laurie, I don't want to clean my freezer. I don't need to do this. It's a mess. But it took, how long have we been on? I can't look and see. Maybe 15 minutes. I at least have everything out. It won't take me that long to rinse it out. And so it's definitely worth doing that and seeing what you have. And here's the thing as a frugal person. We'll talk about this all throughout this whole Be Awesome and Challenge. Being, a, keeping your house together, obviously I'm a pretty crummy example of how to do that. But obviously I had several meals here that are done. All I have to do is kind of mix them and make something. So when you choose to take care of your home, you take, take care of your budget too, which is so important for sure. So um, I'm just be encouraged that if you are struggling with this, I know a lot of y'all are saying you do it every month, you do it every three months. Obviously, I'm like the world's worst at this. If you feel like you're struggling with this, um, just you need this is it's so important to get it done. Like even if you're like me and you're way behind on the game, obviously I'm way behind. Go ahead and do it. Jody, you asked if we can put the link in. We'll put the link in to the. Um, to the dinners or to the Be Awesome in April. If you haven't gotten the Be Awesome in April challenge, it is over at the link above. You can score that. It's a fantastic thing. If you know someone who is struggling with keeping their house together, if you can hit that share this button and if you can kind of share the challenge with them, maybe they'll be encouraged as well to keep doing it. Um, if you somebody says they're doing their their uh, freezer once a week, that's amazing. Um, but just be encouraged that you are not alone. Like we all struggle with this stuff. And so for those of you who don't struggle, I wish I was like you. I think I always feel like there's no time. There's just no time. And so this is so obviously low as I'm sitting here on the ground. This is about as low as it can get on my list of priorities. But I'm going to feel so much better to have it done. And it matters so much. It is a lot of work for sure to keep your house together. But it helps so much. Okay. The other thing I do want to tell you about while I've got... I've got a few cleaning supplies here is in case you missed it the mrs myers deal is only a few days left it's almost over and i don't want you to miss it because they only offer it a couple times a year basically you get um, four cleaning supplies totally for free from mrs myers and grove collaborative um, you need to sign up with the link above and um, when you do that you get four free items you do have to spend twenty dollars to get the box shipped to you um, but it includes free shipping. So you get four box, four items. Basically, you end up getting nine or ten Mrs. Meyer products for as low as, how much is it? As low as $20 shipped. So $20 to your door. Um, definitely check it out if you're interested. The items that are included for free are a Mrs. Meyer's hand soap, a Mrs. Meyer's lotion, a Mrs. Meyer's tub and tile. And these are full-size products, like tub and tile full-size products. And then two sponges. And the first person, I know I shared this the other day, so it may be too late, but the first person who orders their box and then shows me once it's shipped and it comes into their home, if you put up your picture of your box once you've gotten it into your house onto my um, Facebook page, if you stick a picture, the first three people are going to get a big box of supplies for me because I have a bunch of extra supplies. Um, some, of the Mrs., some of the products that I've loved, if you are looking for things to fill up your Mrs. Meyers box with, I, um, I love their hand soap. I love, well, I told you all this. I, I like their toilet tub bowl cleaner. I don't like the smell. I don't like the lemon verbena scent of the toilet bowl cleaner. So if you get the toilet bowl cleaner, try a different one. Um, I like the lavender scent. I love the lavender scent of the dish soap. I love the multi-surface cleaner. It's been a great product and I like the lavender scent as well on that one. Lots of people asked me yesterday what my favorite scents were. Um, if you're looking for other cleaning supplies, they don't have to all be Mrs. Meyers. So it can be cleaning supplies, diapers, toilet paper. Um, they have lots of different things, uh, cosmetics, all natural products. So if you love the all natural products, you want to check them out. Kathy, you said you love the Blue Bell. I don't know which one that is. I haven't smelled that one yet. So that sounds great. Um, this is the Method Daily Clean for Wood. I love this one. The one that's, I, oh no, it's right here. I love, like this is probably my favorite purchase in my Grove box, um, is the Method Daily Granite. 
Highly recommend this um, for sure. But Betty, you said I talk fast. I do talk really fast because I'm really nervous when I do Facebook Live. This is way out of my comfort zone and I'm doing it because otherwise I don't know if there's a way, easy way for people to see me. So I'm sorry, it's just because I'm nervous. Um, Daily Granite Cleaner by Method is a great one. The Daily Granite um, or the Glass Surface from Method is great. So if you're looking for great all natural cleaning supplies to helpfully be encouraged to actually do this stuff, um, click the link above, grab your four free items for sure. And what's nice about Mrs. Myers or with about the Grove Collaborative is you can put stuff in your box, you can choose, they're gonna give you the four free items, then you can add whatever you else else you'd like to try to the list. Um, what's Then um, they will send you a box each month, but you choose what's in it. And if you don't want it every month, you can like say you want it every three months or every six months, but they are the best prices on all natural cleaning supplies you're gonna find. So if you like all natural cleaning things, um, I've been so, so, so pleased with everything I've gotten from them. It's kind of been my new happy um, thing. Cause I think you feel more motivated to clean when you have nice things to clean with. So Kathy, you said we could have used the wood for our kitchen cabinets on Monday. You know what? I didn't even think about that. In fact, I've got a wood cabinet right here. I should see how it works. Let me see, where's my, I some paper towels. At some point this morning, I did have paper towels somewhere so that we could try it. There's one, okay. So here it is on here. It does do great. Yeah, it really does do great. I am super impressed with this product for sure. So if you're looking for a good wood cleaner, that would work. Um, there, the other one that I told you about, but I don't have over here. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. This is one that if you have not seen it, it's kind of hard to search on the Grove site, but I was able to find it the other day. It is the um, baking soda cream cleanser. Baking soda cream cleanser. Um, it's Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser lemon verbena. I love this for my stainless. So, um, in fact, I'll show you real fast how I do it. Well, I've got my rags here. Somebody said, um, how do you change or cancel the subscription? I believe you do it on their website um, and via email. And yes, Kathy, you are right. I am like, is anybody else like that? Especially when I have got comments coming at me constantly. I see things and I go 50,000 different directions as I can. Oh, thank you. I see a bunch of folks that shared my video. Y'all are my favorite people today. Thank you so much for taking time to share that. I appreciate that so much. That really helps me. Okay, so there's how I use this cream cleanser on my stainless. And then you just take some water and wash it down. And then you're gonna dry it really well. Um, I This has been my favorite cleaner so far for my stainless because I feel like I'm totally getting it really good and clean. But I need a towel to dry it with. Here's a towel. I didn't bring over my whole set of cleaning supplies over here this morning, but you can see this is a great one. Can you use the baking soda? Oh, I am 99% sure that you can use it on the baking soda cream cleanser on your glass countertops. I am almost positive. Um, I think you can because I would, it's very much like soft scrub. That's the kind of texture, like when you're using it, that's what you feel like you're working with. So if you love soft scrub, I used to love soft scrub in my um, bathtubs and so that's, it's, it's similar to that. I would think you can use it. Another great product for um, those countertops is, oh, I just lost the name of it in my head. Um, Ceramabrite. So at uh, Lowe's they sell Ceramabrite or Home Depot and it works great on glass countertops if you're looking for one. What else would you use this cleaner on? You don't have stainless steel. So I'm going to read to you what it says for. Um, it's made with baking soda, natural minerals, plant derived ingredients. It does not have bleach in it. Um, let me see what it says to use it on. Works nicely on sinks, stove tops, pots and pans, stainless steel, tile tubs showers and faucets so there you go so tubs things like that um yeah hopefully that helps does that help i really like this one a few of my favorite things have been this one i love the multi-surface cleaners i love the lilac scent i wish i branched out and tried some new scents i'll probably try some other things in a few months how do you clean the spills in the freezer okay so that's such a good mer question Mary. or i'm not sure who said that um Joy, you said your freezer is perfect. I'm jealous. If you have a clean freezer, I'm sad and I want you to come to my house and live with me for a few days, <laughs> please. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to try to get these cabinets drawers out and scrub them is what I really want to do. I don't know if they're going to come out. So probably what I'll do is um, scrub it just the way it is. I'm just going to get hot, hot water and bring it over and just wash it with um, 
soap and water. So I will use the um, Mrs. Mrs. Meyer's dish soap and hot water, and I'll make a, something out of that. Does that help? Oh, Margaret, I'm so glad you love watching the videos, y'all. I am... Oh, Joy, would you come over? Joy, you're hired. Come on over to my house. Clean my freezer, please. I would love that. Um, you couldn't get yours out either, Carrie. I think if we just do some hot sudsy water is what I'm thinking I'm going to do, and I'm just going to scrub. I will tell you, in the free package this month, they also include some of these scrubbies. Hang on, let me go grab my scrubbies. So they include these free scrubbies when you get your free pack, and these are great because they're going to have a little bit, they've got some grit on the back, so they'll help to grub, scrub it away. Another great idea is, let me show you the baking soda idea because I was using it last night, loving it. This is my favorite idea. My friend Stacy gave it to me. I'm loving it. Um, this is baking soda in a Dollar Tree jar, so it looks cute and can sit up on my counter. You shake it in, and it literally will, um, it, because it's got that grit in it, it will help scrub anything off. So I'm not sure how it's going to work in the freezer, but I'm probably going to try it. Tell me again what the product was with the green label. The product, oh, this one with the green label. This is, and it's so hard to find on their website. I had a really, I had to actually, I had to look pretty hard to find this one. It's the bake, it's called Mrs. Meyer's Baking Soda Clean, Cream Cleaner. Baking Soda Cream Cleaner. Um, scratch free. Yeah, I hope you can find it because it was, it was good. Anyways, um, oh, I'm so glad you love the videos. I feel very silly this morning as I'm cleaning out my nasty freezer. Guys, be encouraged. If you struggle with feeling like you don't want to do something, guys, today I did not want to do this. I was so not up for this, but I did it anyways. Now i got to clean up the rest of the mess. I promise I'll take a picture yesterday or shortly when it's clean and I'll post that. Um, it's definitely worth it. Would you list the products that I ordered in my box? Um, because I did it ahead of the thing, I did things a little bit differently. What I did yesterday that was my favorite scenario because I want to try some different things is I got my free tub and tile cleaner, my free scrubbies, my free soap, and my free lotion. So I got those. And then because I went to Target, I wanted to see how the prices stacked up and these items are all at the Grove. At the Target stuff, I got the Daily Granite Cleaner, the Method Glass and Surface, and these are, these are Method. Glass and Surface, um, Daily Granite from Method. And then I also got the Method Wood for Clean and this, the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda. So I got all of those plus the freebies for my $20. All of these cost me $20 at Target by themselves. So that kind of helps that, that it definitely is worth it. A couple other scenarios that you can try, um, a couple other products that I think are worth checking out. The toilet bowl cleaner, just don't get the lemon verbena if you, I, I just didn't love the smell on that one. Um, you can try the multi-surface cleaner. I think this one is like $3. Um, the dish soaps, all the dish soaps are fantastic. I, if you don't have one of the Mrs. Meyers dish soaps, get one of those because you will love it. So make sure when you're packing your box, Get your four freebies, get this one. Um, yeah, make sure you get, those things are, like the things that I love and use daily, like, I mean like hourly, are the, the dish soap and the hand soap, but the hand soap's free. So I hope that helps. The baking soda idea, I'm telling you what, like last night I was working on a pot that was nasty and I never even thought about this, but I just sprinkled it on and scrubbed it off, it came right off with that. Um, and definitely using these scrubbies, so I used this and this last night to clean my pots and pans and it did a great job. In fact, tomorrow I'll show y'all how I did that because I've got one that I actually was saving to finish. Um, somebody said what to do to not waste potatoes. Oh, I hate throwing potatoes away. We usually use them up. I usually try to kind of figure out how to do them so that we have enough. You could, you might be able to freeze them for hash browns maybe, Nicole, that's an idea. Anyways, hopefully that helps. Um, if you want the free print printable checklist, let me show that to y'all wherever I put mine, here's mine. Here it is. Tomorrow, I think tomorrow is a more fun project. I'm kind of more excited. We're going to organize underneath the kitchen sink tomorrow. You do have a daily list of things you need to do every day. Those are really simple things that um, I know if you're a working mom, and I do want to say that real quickly. If you're a working mom, this is a hard, this is a lot to tackle. It's overwhelming. So I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. Do what you can do. You may not get to every single one every day, but you're still going to be awesome. So do what you can get done. Um, I love this. And there's also a free Facebook group. If you've not joined our Facebook group, those ladies are showing their pictures and it's so encouraging and inspiring to get it done. So I hope you'll be encouraged. I'm definitely encouraged um, to do it. Oh, somebody said make freezer mashed potatoes. Great tip for, the, um, for that. 
the site isn't coming up. I'm going to check the link as soon as I finish up and we will see if we can get that link working. Y'all have the best day. Um, I'll be here tomorrow. I will be cleaning it underneath my sink. I'll be in a happier mood, I think. And I will show you pictures later today of this mess all cleaned up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have the best day and I will see you tomorrow. See ya.